When we calculate the number out, or the number of items that will fit on one press size sheet, we need to take into account whether we place the item horizontally or vertically on our press sheet. There are times where you might want to put some horizontally and some vertically. It's called a Dutch cut in the printing industry. But for our class, we are never going to use Dutch cut. We will either put all of the postcards or whatever we're printing horizontally or all of them vertically. The steps that we use to calculate the number out, I like to call the option one, option two scenario. We're going to take the length and width of our paper and put it on the top part of the formula. So we'll divide the length of the paper by the length of the item that you're printing, and then the width of the paper divided by the width of the item that you're printing. The option two, you need to switch either the paper length and width or the item length and width, but not both. And so for our purposes, we're going to switch the bottom values. And so we'll divide the length of the paper by the width of the item, and then we'll divide the width of the paper by the length. By doing this, we're essentially taking our horizontal item and rotating it vertically, or vice versa, depending on the orientation of the item that you're printing to begin with. When you're done, um, you're going to multiply the two values together. And so when you divide the length of the paper by the width, if it comes out to 2.16, and then the width of the paper divided by the width of the item, and it comes out to 1.4, you're going to take the whole number because you're basically saying that you can print two whole items on the length of paper and one whole item on the width. And when you multiply those two whole numbers together, that will give you the total number out for this example. Let's look at it with an actual example. If I have a 23 by 35 inch press sheet and I'm trying to print postcards on it that are 5 inches by 7 inches, I can divide 23 by 5, which is the length of the paper and the length of the postcard, and 35 by 7, which is the width of the paper and the width of the postcard, and I will get exactly 4.6 by 5. So 23 divided by 5 is 4.6, and 35 divided by 7 is 5. The 4.6 is saying that I can fit 4 and then 6 tenths of a postcard along the 23 inch side of the paper. I don't want 0.6 parts of a postcard, so I will say that I can fit four whole postcards along that length. Now the second value comes out even, 35 divided by seven is five, and so I don't have to do anything there. So I'll take the whole numbers, four, and multiply it by five, and this first scenario will give me 20 postcards per sheet of paper, or per press size sheet. The reason that we always have to do the option one and option two scenario is because these postcards are running horizontally. What if I wanted to rotate them and run them vertically? Our option two scenario, we're going to take our sheet of paper, which is still 23 by 35 inches wide, and leave that as the formula as is. And then this time we're going to rotate the bottom or switch the bottom values. So we're going to put the seven inch part of the postcard along the 23 inch side of the paper and the 5 inch side of the postcard along the 35 inch side of the paper. When you divide 23 by 7, it comes out to 3.29, and 35 divided by 5 is 7. We only keep the whole numbers because I'm only concerned about a whole number of postcards, and so when we take 3 and multiply it times 7, option 2 gives us 21 out. 21 is greater than 20, so for this example we would say that we can fit 20 one postcards for every one press size sheet.